Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a virtual USB drive or USB stick in VMware Workstation so that way it'll act like a USB drive in your operating system but it'll actually be created out of storage from your host computer like any other uh, virtual hard disks that you might use for your computer. All right, so to do so, I have a little cheat sheet here to kind of help you follow along because it's kind of complicated. So the first thing you want to do is open the command prompt and navigate to your uh, VMware Workstation installation directory. I always like to run it as administrator just to be sure. You just paste in the uh, text from the description because I'll put all this in there. Okay, so now that we're there. Okay, so now you want to create the virtual USB drive. So here's the command here. So here's the breakdown of it. So here's the command. Dash C is create size. I'm going to do a 32 gigabyte. Uh, a is the type of adapter. I'm just going to do a simple bus logic. I think you could do LSI bus logic and something else. Uh, you could try those out and see how they work for you. Uh, T is type. Do zero for, for dynamically sized virtual disk file. And then the path. So this you're going to have to change on your computer to where you want it to go. And then also the name of the VMDK file. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to put mine in the root of my virtual machines here so I could actually use it for something else, you know, other ones. But once we make it, we're going to have to put it in the directory of the VM itself. So let's go ahead and make it first. So I'm just going to copy this. Paste that in there. Okay, create successfully. So here's our USB key here. So we're going to put it in this uh, Windows 10 home computer. So we'll just copy it, paste it in here. Okay, so the next step, we need to make sure these two files or lines are in our VMX file. So we need to open the VMX file for this virtual machine, which is right here. You just right click, open with, you know, pick Notepad or whatever text editor you like. Okay, so let's make sure those are in there by searching for them. Let's just search for the first part here. Try searching down. Okay, so that's in there. Make sure this is in here. Okay, so that's in there. So now we need to add these lines to the bottom of the VMX file. So you got to change this here to match what you created your uh, VMDK file as, the same name. So we'll just copy that. Go down to the bottom here. Paste it in there. Then we'll save it. Close it. Okay, saved it. Now we want to double click it to kind of have the uh, settings apply there. So if we double click this VMX file, it should open up Workstation. And there it is. So this was, oh, that's actually it's Windows 11 now, it was Windows 10. So let's power it on. And then once that's on, we just need to start the VM, which we're doing, and format the drive, and we should be good to go. So we'll see what happens here when this boots up. Okay, so we got the virtual machine powered on and logged in. So you notice down here, down by your tray here for your VMware workstation, if you hold, hold the mouse over, we've got that VM USB key, USB key VMDK file. And then if we go to our uh, eject media, right-click on it, you can see we got it here. And then if we go to our File Explorer, this PC, this has a lot of virtual hard disks on it, but this is the guy here, USB drive. If we double click it though, it's gonna to wanna to format it. So let's call this uh, virtual USB, okay. Okay. All right, so now we have our 32 gig USB drive ready to go. So you could just use it as a fake USB, you know, if you need to do testing or that kind of thing or somewhere else to put some extra files. And then you should be able to disconnect it from here and then edit the, uh, you know, if you put some files on it and then assign it to another virtual machine just by editing the VMDK file and then loading it up there. You might have to format it though I haven't tried that yet, so just keep that in mind if you try to attach it to another one, you know, depending on how it's going to recognize it. But I would think it'd be okay, though, so that's a good test if you guys want to try that out for yourself. All right, so I'll put this stuff in the description here 
and then you could uh, just edit it to your own computer and uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.